We have a four-cylinder front-wheel drive Toyota 1.8 liter. We're going to go through the steps to replace the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system completely flushed and drained, we'll begin the repair by disconnecting the negative battery cable. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. In order to gain access to the water pump, remove the engine cover and drive belt. Remove the alternator and set to the side. Remove the six water pump retaining bolts. These can be a little difficult to reach. Be mindful there are two different lengths of the water pump retaining bolts. When removing the water pump from the block, there may be some residual coolant. Be sure and capture this. Remove the O-ring from the block. Thoroughly clean the sealing area to assure a good seal when reinstalling the water pump. To ease an installation, we'll take a small amount of silicone in two locations to hold the O-ring in place. Install the water pump using the six attaching bolts. It's not necessary, but it's also a good idea to apply a small amount of anti-seize to the thread area. Be sure and tighten in a crisscross pattern. Be mindful there are two different lengths of the water pump retaining bolts. The long bolts will torque to eight foot-pounds. The short bolts torque to 80 inch-pounds. Reinstall the alternator into its bracket. Be sure and inspect the drive belt to make sure it's not broken or cracked in any way that would hinder its reuse. Reference the manufacturer's belt routing and reinstall the drive belt. Reinstall the engine cover. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Reattach the negative battery cable and refill the system with coolant and distilled water to manufacturer specifications. Start the vehicle and allow the engine to reach full operating temperature. Turn the passenger compartment heater on to help bleed the air out of the system. With the engine at operating temperature, check the cooling system for any leaks. Shut the vehicle off and allow the engine to cool completely. Check the coolant levels, making sure they're within manufacturer specifications. 